Hello everyone! Today we are going to be talking about a topic most of you do not care about. The question I'm answering today is, why is the membrane from Invader Zim so short? Now I know that sounds like a stupid question to answer, but I love answering seemingly dumb questions. No warning, this is kind of headcanon territory, depends on how you see it. But all of this could be answered with, oh, it's just a cartoon, but I like to relate with my favorite characters, and I think this quote-unquote headcanon is pretty neat. Now before I dive into the quote-unquote headcanon, let's discuss some evidence why this could be sound in canon. First, we're not taking Div's Wonderful Life of Doom seriously, since it's technically a weird dream imagination mix. Second, we are setting Dib's age at 13, because, I don't know, it's just po- it's one of the more popular uses. And finally, third, Dib's height is around 3 foot 3. This is proven in the episode Vindicated, followed with a big head joke. Now, why would a 13 year old be that short? Aren't most fur- I messed up there, I'm sorry. Aren't most 13 year old males taller than that? By my research, the average 13 year old male is around 5 foot 2. This is rounded. Meaning, Dib is around 2 feet smaller than the average male his age. That might not seem a lot, but it's more than a bit short. 2 feet is around 1 third as tall as a fridge side by side, and about one third as long as a full size bed. That's kind of tall. Now, do you know what growth hormone deficiency is? Don't worry if you don't, I'll explain it right now. Growth hormone deficiency is a medical condition due to not enough growth hormone, or your body just doesn't produce it. Generally, the most noticeable symptom is short height. Growth hormone deficiency can be present at birth or develop later in life. Its causes may include genetics, trauma, infections, tumors, or radiation therapy. But another one is, you know, your pituitary gland is deformed or just didn't form right. This condition is considered fairly rare, but I think this is the culprit of Dib's short height. It would make the most sense. I mean, then we don't have to say he's a legal midget. And when you think about it, if we are going to take the headcanon that Dib is a clone of Professor Membrane seriously, then it would make no sense for Dib to be a midget. Because genetically, and even... Okay, so genetically and if Dib is a clone, Professor Membrane is not a midget. He's pretty tall. So if Professor Membrane's tall, and we don't have any confirmation that Dib and Gaz even have a mom, pretty much... There's no other possible midgets in the family that we could think about. And so we don't see a lot of Dib's family. The good thing about growth hormone deficiency is that it isn't all genetics. You can seriously just be born of it. I was born of it. And I don't think anyone else in my family has it. I don't know, I just personally think that the reason why Dib is so canonly short, even though it seems like nobody wants to talk about that, he is canonly short, very short. I think the reason is because he has growth hormone deficiency. Now, I'd like to see what your reason is on why he's so short. I mean, most of you probably don't even care. But, I don't know, I just think this is pretty neat, and I I like to relate with my favorite characters once in a while. I want to hear what your thoughts are, though. Tell it down in the comments, and I hope you like this little ramble of mine.